Welcome to another episode of PC Building Simulator. Uh, we've got a fair amount of emails to go through, so let's get started there. Uh, the first one here says, Hi, hope everything's going well with the whole PC building thing. We believe in you. Speaking of which, can I ask you to do a quick job for me? I've got this gaming PC, which works fine, but I can't shake the feeling that it's missing something. I think the problem is that it just isn't eye-catching enough, you know? When I boot up to play some games, I really want people to know about it. I want style, I want pizzazz, I want my rig to light up like a Christmas tree when I hit the power button. So can you add some lighting to the case? Oh, and it's gotta be purple. So add six colored lights. So I'm assuming that is uh, RGB fans. So let's go ahead and accept that one. Here's old Gene Smith again. Hello, bit miffed, computer still slow. Grandson says needs a GTX 1070. Can't believe costs this much just for good video chat. Please put in, but no more than total, a thank you, Gene. So, Gene just keeps letting her grandson talk her into a very expensive gaming PC. So, let's accept that one. Let's see. Thank you for the upgrade. It's been ideal and a great help as I build towards a better future for all of humanity. But to make a, bit, a true breakthrough, I realize that I need a bigger particle accelerator. The Kaleido Max 9850 would provide quite a step up in power. I could finally be looking at piercing the space-time field, and to think they said it couldn't be done in our lifetime. Why then, with the right combination of particulate matter and carefully maintained field, I could... Well, that's not important right now. If I'm going to work with a 9850, I need a second control computer to run in parallel. Could you build me something similar to the upgraded machine you did before? It was able to benchmark 4800, if you recall. With these two machines, the onward mark march of science is assured. So a 3D mark score of 4800 with a budget of $1,000. We can probably make that happen. Okay. And I trust you to build me a decent computer. I've got a copy of Sublevel Zero Redux sitting here waiting to be played. Can you finish in 12 days? More Tony components are meant to be the bomb. Don't try and pass off any used parts. I want all new stuff. So 3250. 12 days to make it happen. Well, let's go ahead and accept that one. Can you help me out with something? I think something's broken. Can you figure out what's wrong with it? Sometimes it just locks up when I try to turn it on. Did I break something? Do you think you could do all of that in 12 days? I think I might have visited one too many dodgy sites. My brother has Silverstone in his PC. He says they are the best. So a quick little fix. Sure. And the last one here. Hello. My PC broke itself. I'm not sure what's wrong. Can you have a look? Let's just say the good news is I found my hamster. I think we've had this email before. Maybe from a different person. But the PC isn't working. Is it possible the motherboard has failed? It seems to be running quite warm. Can you get it done quickly? Don't try and pass off any used parts. I want all new stuff. So, filthy PC. It just probably needs to be cleaned. Let's go ahead and accept that one. So, we've got two builds here. And some lights. So, I'm going to go ahead and get some stuff put into our shopping cart. And I will be right back. Alright, so. For this one where he just needs some lights. We've got six of the Corsair RGB lights in here. For... Gene, who wants a 1070 installed, we're going to put the Zotac GeForce GTX 1070 Mini. She also has a fairly underwhelming power supply, so we've got a better power supply in stock. We're probably just going to stick in there. And for Giovanna, we're going to build him this with a Mortoni H170 and i5-6600, $20 cooler. Uh, two sticks of this Shein Titan, a GTX 1060 Mini, uh, power supply, 450 watt, cheap, cheapest case made, and a couple of fans. And then 
This one I've still got to put together, so I will get a list of what goes in that one and be right back. And for this build, for the sublevel zero redux recommended spec, here's the recommended spec for it. And with his budget of 3250, we'll build something a little bit nicer than that. So we've got a Gigabyte a GAAX370 Gaming, I think it's the K7, an 1800X, uh, X62 cooler, two sticks of the most expensive RAM I have available right now, um, a 1080 Gaming Z, a one terabyte uh, M.2 drive, a four terabyte hard drive, a 650 watt power supply, and we'll put it in a Corsair Obsidian 750D. So let's close out some of this. Let's go ahead and order this stuff. We accepted all these, all right, yep. So let's go end our day, we'll get our stuff in, and we shall get to work. All right, some PC based stuff must have come in. Let's go put these in the closet. Okay, so let's figure out which is which here. Let's start with this lighting one for stew. We'll put that there. Let's get these fixes out of the way first. We'll get Gene on a workbench. And let's see, do we have any other... Let's see what this is. Sure, we'll work on that one as well. Okay, so this one just needs lighting. How many fans can we fit in this thing? Let's find out. It said six, so... Did I not order them? Or did I just not pick them up out of the hall? Oh, just didn't pick them up out of the hall. Okay. Well, I guess I've got to remove some more stuff. I have to remove all of these. Two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Well, let's see how this ends up working out. Let's see here. Now, the question is, is can I put these back in. Oh, good, I can. Okay. Let's get all of those put back in so we can get his hard drive reinstalled. Let's see. I'm looking for storage. Let's get rid of that broken one. I'm not sure what I pulled out of his. Ooh. Maybe that one? Guess we'll find out eventually. Let's see, let's get this. Remove that. Get this one out. 
So I need to take that off. And let's get the rest of these RGB fans installed. Okay. We can get things cabled up. Maybe. There we go. Okay. Let's see if it powers on. Perfect. So all of these need to be that color. There we go. All right, let's put this back together. Front panel, top on it, and we'll get the side panels put back on. All right, there we go. Let's get that one out in the hall. Let's go ahead and grab this filthy thing. Let's see, this was Gene, who needs a 1070. Let's get this power supply out of here, though. It is a small one. I don't think... I don't think it's going to have enough power for the i7 that's in here. Uh, as well as... The 1070. Well, I guess the 450 I had wasn't even used. Alright. Thought I had a used one I was going to just toss in, but that's fine. Let's get this out of here. And that. And we ordered her the... Was it the Zotac? Yes. Okay, let's get this all oops, let's get this all cabled back up. We can be done with this one. I'm wondering should I throw a fan in there? No. Not going to. Not gonna do it. Let's get this PSU shroud back on and the side panel. And we'll make sure it boots. And then we will be ready to put that one out in the hall as well. All right. Out of here. So this one. Okay, let's see. Does it power on? No. Let's get the power supply out of here first and see if that's what happens to be the problem. All these wires undone. Okay. Let's take a look. Broken. Broken Silverstone. That's 650 watt. Okay, let's go order one of those. Let's see, power supply. That 
that one. Let's add that to the cart. And then let's figure out what's wrong with this filthy monster. Start by giving it some air. Some really loud air. Come on. There we go. Okay, let's see if it powers. Um, let's see if it happens to be the power supply. No. We'll put that back in. Let's get the motherboard out. We'll see if that's what happens to be broken. Check all these parts as we pull them out here. Nope, not that. Memory. Nope, not the memory. Let's get that out. Alright, let's see if it's this motherboard. Oops. That was not the right button. Motherboards. Broken. Z270 Gaming Pro Carbon. Let's go order one of those. Add that to our cart. And let's go ahead. Did it not add? No, it did. Okay. Let's go ahead and get that same day delivery. So we can go ahead and fix this stuff now. Let's get the motherboard put in this one. Okay. Let's get their M.2 drive put in. Get this open. I think they only had one stick of RAM. But let's get their CPU in there. And we'll get the RAM installed. Some thermal paste. And where's their cooler? There it is. Graphics card. Alright, let's get everything cabled up. Now let's see if it powers on. No OS found. Hmm. Oh, we can fix that. Let's power cycle it. By the way, don't ever power cycle your computer that fast in real life. It's not very good for the fans. But this is just a game. Okay. Let's get our side on and let's get this powered down and out in the hall. And finally, we will get this new power supply installed. Let's get rid of that broken one. Okay, let's see. Let's get the PSU mount on here. 
And then we can start cabling things up. I don't remember if this had any particular color. They're just getting whatever is loaded up there. Okay. Get it powering up. I think this was the one. Let's get our USB in here. I think this was the one that needed the virus scanner done to it. So we'll get that installed. Yes, we will restart now. Okay, let's see how many viruses you got. 293. Let's clean that up. We will get the side panel on. And we can get this one out of here. Power that down. Let's pick up our cases for our other builds here. Put this one on this table. So, Giovanna is this super cheap case. And Unlucky Drip is that one. Let's build this cheap one first. This can be pretty simple. Let's get our motherboard in. Get our standoffs put down, our screws all in. Let's get all of our things open here so we can install our CPU. All right, what was I putting in here? I think a 6600, there we go. And then we had, I think it was this cheap Shein Titan RAM. Let's see, let's get this open here. And we'll pull that out and let's get this PSU shroud out of our way. Let's see, what graphics card was I putting in here? It was a Zotac, there it is. And then a four fifty B three. I think this was only getting an SSD, so we'll put that on the shroud. Let's get some thermal paste. Let's get the cooler installed. Let's see, it is this cryo rig. Okay, so we can get the SU shroud back on. We can go ahead and mount. Did I not order an SSD? Uh-oh. Well, that's no good. Well, then they're getting a one terabyte hard drive. just using it to power something else so it's not like it needs to be fast get all this screwed down let's cable this up okay actually I wanted to put Let's take this off. I want to put a couple of fans in the front. Some cheapies. There we go. It's going to be powered on all the time and crunching numbers. May as well keep it cool. Let's cable those up. 
Let's get a USB drive in here and let's power it on and see if it starts up. While that's doing that, let's get our side panel on. Brady Mark's already installed on here. That's interesting. Maybe it's just already on that hard drive. All right, well, we'll let that run. We'll see if we get the score. But while that's running, let's build this computer. This one shouldn't take too long. Let's get our motherboard installed. Currently the most expensive AMD motherboard I have available. I don't know. I'm sure there's more expensive ones eventually in the game. But let's go ahead and get our processor. Let's see, where are you? 1800X, there you are. Let's get that installed and we will get our super expensive RAM installed in here. Let's get some of these out of the way. This is going to get a M.2 drive. We'll get that put in before we put the graphics card in. And I think I was putting a 1080. There it is. Get the 1080 in there. And let's go ahead and throw this 4 terabyte hard drive in. Uh, there we go. Close. Let's remove the dust cover. Let's get some thermal paste. Let's get our CPU cooler, which is the Kraken X62. Get that installed. And we will get our power supply, the Supernova Platinum 650 watt. Let's start cabling this up. Let's do a color though. Let's do... Do white. Get our fans connected, our front panel. Graphics card, our motherboard the cooler, CPU power, and our back fan. Let's get a USB drive in here. Let's power that up. I'm going to go into the BIOS real quick. And we're just going to turn on XMP. And we're going to let that start while we go check on this PC. So that did not get 4,800. Why is that? Well, let's take a look at what the RAM is running at. Power it off. We'll go into the BIOS. That did not do anything. Very interesting. I think this is more powerful than the last computer I built for the same customer that needed a score of 4,800. Well, we may have to play with that one to get it right. This one, however, is good to go. Oops. Get the dust filter on the top. Now we get the side panel on. Let's see what we think. Yeah, it looks nice. Let's get this one out in the hall. This one for Giovanna is going to have to wait for another episode, or the next episode, I should say, because this episode's already running a bit long. 
Well, let's go ahead and collect some money. So this one, is it not done? Install lights. We'll have to look at that too as to why that's not letting us collect it because it's green as if it's done. Let's go ahead and collect that. Let's go ahead and collect that one. Let's go ahead and collect that one. And we will collect that one. We got some new emails, but in the next episode, we'll find out why we can't collect stews and what we need to do about Giovanna's PC here. So if you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button to know as soon as one of my videos goes live. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next episode.